And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Callista Dawn Speakers, our next deck that we're going to be trying out. We have brand new Callista here. Callista is now a 4 3 instead of a 4 2. And then it has to see four allies die before Callista levels up. So it's, that's actually pretty difficult to pull off. Um, but if you do get to level up Callista, she's pretty amazing because then. First time I attack each round, revive an attacking ephemeral copy of the strongest dead allied follower. They're bonded and it takes the damage for Callista. So basically it gets to, it's kind of like Hecarim where, you know, you attack with an, and you get another ephemeral of whatever your strongest allied thing is. And then um, it also takes all the damage for Callista that round. So the Callista is like invincible. So pretty awesome if we get to... Um, do that but basically uh besides that we're going to be playing dawn speakers whenever if we had an ally die then grant all of our other allies plus one plus one and so we're going to be you know having our allies die some we have mark of the isles um glimpse beyond uh to be able to kill off our own creatures we also have a couple chroniclers of ruin and then we're just going wide with like a lease and crawling sensation hapless aristocrat uh replace itself all that kind of stuff um Mostly all Shadow Isles, just splashing for Dawn Speakers and Vanguard Redeemers to draw some extra cards. Draw some extra units, I suppose. All right, uh, but that's it. That's our deck. We're going to see how this how this goes. First try with new Callista. Head on over to Ranked. Here we go. Man, we're at 396. We started today ranked 70th. And, or like, you know, 70, 80, like right, right in there. Actually, I think 79. And we went five and five at 79 and we dropped over 300 spots at five and five. That is crazy. Anyway, this hand looks just fine. Um, I know it's, it's slow, but I, I really like the Wraith Caller Chronicler of Ruin combo. Like that's a great combo. I guess I'll just get rid of the Mark of the Isles. Look for a two and a three drop. There we go. Okay. Well, got, got it all. I'm not just going to be casting the Glimpse Beyond right now because, remember, we have... I mean, I guess I can now. I didn't say we get to bank this mana. I guess we'll just cast it and draw two. Our creature's going to die anyway. Kind of wanted to save it for having Dawn Speakers in play. Oh, well. Raise the banner, lift our spirit. That's a really good start that they have. That's a great start. To the base. My steel is yours. In the name of our land. Run out of time. Show them our metal. No one goes hungry. Really? Where are you? Be strong. These are dark times. Uh-oh. 
That's a pretty good draw. My shield is yours. Dang. Man, Bannerman is so good. That's a pretty great hand, though. Two one drops, four two drops, and two Bannermans. That's pretty good. Move hearts and armies. Head to the base. Feel the sizzle. Dang. I was hoping they were just going to attack like that. Okay, so. Yeah, these two block those things. This needs to block a 4 4. This just chump block. Please, I have connections. And then I go down to one and hope they don't have a trick. Did not fall in vain. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm kind of out of room. Could have attacked with that first. Be strong. These are dark times. Our creature's getting pretty big, but though. These Dawn Speakers are doing their job. Hey, Jim. Yeah. Miss me streaming some magic? I I haven't really missed magic at all since playing Legends of Runeterra. This really, really love the design of this game. I wrote a couple of weeks ago why I like Legends of Runeterra more than Magic, and um, and yeah, this game is very, very well put together. If you haven't checked it out before, we're going to do all sorts of blocking. All their stuff dies, three of my things die. Discipline and steel. And I'm gonna have a flip to lease. My true beauty is beneath the skin. I think they have judgment. And if so, should I pr 
play around judgment somehow. Maybe just making like this attack. This would be lethal. All right, not judgment. Ooh, that missed. That means we know our top card is either um, the one Dawn Speaker or more likely the Vanguard Redeemer. No, no, it's just the one Dawn Speaker. Hey, thanks, Thratios. Thank you. Yeah, the Thresh Karma deck was awesome yesterday, and. I expect that to still be pretty good even with the patch. I mean, the only thing really is that Rekindler costing seven instead of um, By the strength of our instead of six. I think that doesn't make the deck unplayable. All right, we saw the power of Dawn Speakers there that game because it, you know, like they had like a lot bigger creatures and it was looking bad for us, but Dawn Speakers just made ours. It's only made our creatures much bigger than theirs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We, we never drew Callista. I'm just going to keep that. There's Callista. That egg. Did it move? There's nothing to fear. I must get out of here. We, we shall not rest until all betray. Get me out of here. That is bad. That's very bad for me. This is a bad trade. The reason why I was willing to make the trade in the first place, trading my Elise and... Mark of the Owls for their Callista was that my Callista would see, you know, potentially, you know, see potentially two creatures die. They have the one ones trade. But obviously that trade ended up being poor. What's that noise? I pull the strings. Night falls. Uh, do I think that the ephemeral mid-range decks will hold up? I'm not, I'm honestly not sure. Um, you know, we'll have to see. He I still think Hecarim is very good, even, like, Hecarim is worse, but I still think it's very good. I could see Callista being a card that ephemeral mid-range kind of moves towards also. It's possible. It looks like that's kind of what my opponent's doing over here. Maybe, I I'm not sure. Um...
Darn, that grasp. <clears throat> well, this looks really, really bad for us. My two cards in, in hand are the like my two worst cards in my deck. So I don't I don't think we're gonna be one of those. Um, but yeah, Hecarim does level more easily now for the for the ephemeral decks, exactly. And pump buffs more. So yeah, like Hecarim's not bad. Like Hecarim's still gonna be quite good. And even better whenever you really focus on ephemeral. Um and leveling Hecarim up. Yeah, we're really dead. Lady Elise, where are you? I will play my part. Shadow. Uh. That egg, did it move? So I'm going to draw Dawn Speakers. But yeah, so we'll just have to kind of see how the ephemeral midrange deck holds up, but not exactly sure. Man, what a yeah. What a mess. It at least gives us a little bit of hope. Don't get to flip Elise now. I was gonna wanted to vile offering both of their things. Ooh, Dawn Speakers is good. How do we get one of our creatures to die during their turn? We shall pierce their treasonous hearts. They cannot hide. This is great. We get to flip Elise. And now we get to pump everything. Words move hearts and armies. Be strong. Be smooth as silk. Yes, okay. In the name of the fallen. So this is 8, 9, 10, 11, so I can mark the aisles and make it 13. And that's assuming that they would have nothing. It's probably worth it. Go for the win. I guess I didn't even have to. I didn't, oh, I didn't even have to. That thing like can't. Oh no, I could have blocked the one four, but still, the others might have been legal. We got there. Don speakers stealing another game. Stealing another game. Yeah, that was awesome. That was pretty awesome.
All right, so we're 2-0. Oh. I guess one thing, if, if y'all didn't know, um, I'm doing $10 donation decks, by the way. Uh, all you have to do is just go through, you know, go through that link there, send a, a $10 tip, and basically what donation decks are is I'll play your exact list on stream, either first, second, third, or fourth, whatever day you want. Every single slot's open. Um, or if you want me to build a deck, like if you're like, please build a deck around, you know, Callista and Braum. Oh, that's the first thing that I thought of, but you know what I mean? Um, I will do that as well. So anything you want to see on stream, it's just $10 donation and I'll play it. What's that noise? All right, this curve is really filled in. If I play Callista first. No, I'm going to just attack. Black Spear could be decent. I need no weapon. I think they absolutely have ways to protect their 4-3 elusive creature, though. I follow you anywhere. I know just the place. Keep the peace. Our allies did not. <clears throat> Forgot I wasn't gonna be able to cast Black Spear still. I wish I would, you know, I wish I would still like the Callista was gonna be a Black Spear. That would have been nice. Everywhere I go, the light follows. A beacon in battle. This is great. Track them down. Um, yeah, we 
we can just block here because we're gonna go straight to combat anyway. But we'll see if they get a, a fast spell. Our ancestors are watching. Be strong. These are dark times. Okay, sweet. Sweet. We were gonna, you know, like, take a bunch of their stuff and try to kill a bunch of their stuff, but looks like they realized that was gonna happen. All right, we got a reward. We got a platinum chest. Let's crack it open. <laughs> The only cards I don't have are the Poros. No. Whoa, got upgraded. A lot of wild cards. I'll take 500 shards, thank you. That was a good one. Now we're working towards this champion capsule. All right, Callista Dawn Speakers. So far, so good. 3-0. So far, so good. Lucian Z. Garen. That looks pretty aggressive. Do I want the crawling sensation? Two one ones. Yeah. Do you think it's a good or bad idea to make a deck with no champions? I've seen quite a, quite a lot of people doing that. Well, I think your deck's going to be weaker without champions. The champions are the strongest cards in the game. I can understand... Kind of. I can kind of understand... You know, not playing champions so that... You're... So... Uh... So your opponent won't know exactly how to mulligan, you know, like won't have a good idea of how to mulligan. But even then, that seems Do not fear like not the, the best strategy. We, we shall not rest until all betrays. That is so good. Gosh, that is so good. I can just kill Callista and Elise. So good. They follow the dead master. Only the world survives. I've got just the thing for you. Don't know how I'm going to deal with the Zed yet. We'll figure that out later. Only the world Very good chance that card kills me.
Yeah, the patch is in effect right now. Yep. Push back the darkness. For the glory of Demacia. Ha. Whiffed. History's in my hands now. This is mercy. Show them our medal. A real battle. Huh. <laughs> Somebody else earlier said that their uh that their rekindler still cost six, like that theirs wasn't updated either. Do I have to kill Lucian? Who do I have to kill, Lucian or Zed? I guess it's, gosh, is it Lucian? No. That hurts. I, I mean, my plan was to make all these things smaller, like with the frenzied skitter. Now they're not smaller. Are you like, like before? Like they weren't gonna be able to like block with basically anything. And now they do. I think I have to have another bannerman. That's too good. That's a good card. This is mercy. Bring in the heat. Stand strong. Eight mana. So we know that they have an Ionia card in hand. I feel like their Ionia card is Twin Disciplines. So I think I have to block this to be safe. No! Oh no, they get to rally because they're... Ugh, I was thinking we can't let them rally, but I forgot the stupid Zed thing dies. And so that rallies. Our ancestors are watching. Uh. All right, three and one, great hand. So on it, GG's that second bannerman. Well, besides, you know, the whole, like, Lucian and Zed being awesome. So that second Bannerman really got me. Who needs friends anyway? GG's.
Okay, let's see. We got Elise Callista Redeemer. <clears throat> Looks like the same kind of deck we were just playing. I think I'm going to Mulligan Callista. If they have the you know, Battlesmith into, you know, those two two ones being the There's nothing the three twos here. again, that was crazy. You suffer long. Come on. Chase the glory. Routed path. By the strength of our conviction. Like we're gonna be three and two. Batter him. Do not get fight on an empty stomach. Our word is our bond. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Our allies did not fall in vain. Please play a creature. Let me skitter. Come on, let me skitter. Feel the sizzle. No one goes home. Who will stand with us? Never let you skitter her. Demasi cards are pretty good. They're pretty good. Airman is so good. You could eat the heart.
don't know the name, Laurel. Come closer. I don't fight. My true beauty is beneath your skin. We still have a chance. Well, they, they just top deck this because they didn't have a last turn because they had the, the two mana and they didn't kill my Elise before passing. Like, it just auto-passed. So that was the card they drew. Obviously, I could have gone straight to combat to prevent that from happening, but that, that was just the card they just drew. My plan was to, to then now use Chronicler of Ruin on a Skitter, on, on this Skitter, um, summon it again to pump these things again and pump down their things again. That was my plan, but... That was a perfect card to draw. Uh, no, we'll never flip Callista. Probably not. Man. Masia cards are good. Even after all that stuff they had, like we were about to like we were we were actually gonna be fine if they didn't draw that single combat. Like we were gonna really wipe out their battlefield there. Good draw. If we get a chance, we're going to jump block with the hapless aristocrat and play Dawn Spreakers and grow our creatures. If we get that chance. I wish next turn we could play Speakers and Vile Feast. We would Vile Feast our own hapless aristocrats. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Be strong. These are dark times. We just made some big creatures. So options are kill this thing. 
But then it would just turn into a 3-2 that would start pumping or kill the 1-1 one, one and then revive it. No place for the kind. You know, like if we revive this, it just revives as a 3-2, so what's the point? Yeah, it didn't have the mana. So we're just dead. I will follow this path until the end. Wait. How do they all not die? Aren't they all supposed to die? Oh wait. Oh, the first ones all just took two damage, and then the last, and then it had to. This had to flip, and the last one took five. So we could have one of our Dawn Speakers die, but oh well, we'll just, you know, we'll play another one. Welcome to try. I think the attack's worth it. And we just play Redeemer Speakers. Obviously, we're just at the mercy of how much stun they have. I can't kill this Yasuo, so it's just does can Yasuo kill us? Hey Matthew. Hope the ice yeah, hope the ice cream business is going good for you right now. Uh just kind of you know, being able to um you know, drive around the neighborhoods, maybe there's more people, more kids out playing and stuff, selling some ice cream. Good, good. Convictions. Be strong. These are dark times. That's a good one. At last, I have found you, Yone. Turn back while you can. Just realized we could kill you, CO. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically yeah, basically summer break now. Did not fall in vain. Words sharp as swords. Attack. Right. 
we're in two with Callista Dawn Speakers. The Dawn Speakers have been much more important than Callista so far. Back up to number 295. So yeah, I think I think that uh, ice cream business is probably a good place to be there, Matthew. With everybody, you know, kind of staying home and maybe just kind of like out out playing, but not, you know, like driving places. So I think I think it should work out pretty well for you. I I definitely hope so. A mark of the Isles. <laughs> yeah, not serving handmade snow cones. There you go. Yeah, I don't want to get anyone too nervous. We shall pierce their treasonous hearts. Go, Callista. Alright, Callista got bounced. There you go. I missed you here in chat. Hope hope to My path is clear. see you around more too. But of course it gotta be out. Gotta be out working. Um I think it's still probably just playing Callista right now. Yeah, your casino closed down. Yeah, the the I have a couple of friends that work at the casino here. That's also closed down now. Seems like basically everything's closed down. Restaurants only have to go options around here. Avalanche. So that's what that attack was about. All right, start growing the Callista back up. Redeemers look really good. Be strong. These are dark times. Something ancient.
Um, so I can have three more creatures. That egg. Did it move? Get that Dawn Speakers back to being a 1-4. Our allies did not fall in vain. Oh, dang. Amazon needs 100,000 more people? Temporarily? Wow. Just everybody's ordering off Amazon now? That makes now, sense. Wind and ice. That makes sense. The Is that basically like like for deliveries and stuff? Like you'd just be like a delivery person? I'm gonna attack. Least amount of power to most power. So they had like you know life you know life steal barrier, but they want to block want to block a big creature they don't get to. Yeah, warehouse and deliveries. Okay. Yeah, I definitely see that. Well, they're gonna have two Anivias. I knew, and now I am. Can't really stop that. Today we turn the tide of war. Yeah, just only have creatures, no spells. Um. We, we shall their oh, Calissa's just gonna go to be four power. Not five power. For some reason, I was thinking they were getting plus two. They're just getting the plus one. But yeah, these are all gonna die. Calissa's not gonna level up. Oh, now can level up. I bring the storm. Does that even make sense to? Even make sense to mark of the isles the Callista and have Callista level up. Probably not. Could make sense to mark of the isles the Dawn Speakers. So yeah, it just didn't even make any sense to play that Callista last turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Beating, attacking through this life steal creature is gonna be really difficult. The mage seekers are pretty entertaining. Cool. Cool. That's what we got coming up next. This game is over. Us losing. Did not fall in vain. Definitely over. 
Four and three. This ranking this ranking system is so weird. Like we have we have a winning record. We started today at 79. We're now ranked now all the way down to 451. And we have a winning record. We've dropped almost 400 slots. If they disregard rank, it's only good for measuring streaks. Yeah, basically. Yeah, like, because you get you get like added bonus whenever you win a lot in a row, or or you get added minus when you lose a lot in a row, right? I don't I don't know exactly how it works, but it's it does seem like it. You just get random numbers. <laughs> it's like a random number generator. Can't attack. This is a very straightforward game. Not a difficult one to play. Alright, so they just used four cards to deal with my three. Really, to deal with my two and a half. Because they dealt with half of the Wraith Caller and two other cards with four cards. Nope. Actually, we don't want to do this. Because I want to be able to play Wraith Caller. Oh no, it missed. What do you call that technique? So like Dawn Speakers. It would have been better if our Wraith Caller would have hit, of course, but you know now we have the Dawn Speakers. Be strong. These are dark times. Please control. Not 
not attacking with the sparring student is going to be a 5 5. I guess they want to attack with a shark instead. So I can make one, two, three. So I can make three more creatures. There's only two creatures dying right now. Cool. I'll take that. That's not as cool. Let me change into something more. That's still pretty good. So, yep, we get to... Yeah, you know, I want to keep the spider along so we can flip Elise. There we go. GG's. Get to use Challenger. And we're 5 and 3. So, Callista, not doing a whole lot. But it's kind of in the deck. So I want this Mark of the Isles. Yeah, I'll keep Mark of the Isles. It's a way we can sacrifice a creature also to be able to trigger Dawn Speakers if need be. Oh, got a one drop. Nice. Seeing if we had. Don't have the this thumbnail yet. Callista. Dawn Speaker's thumbnail. I guess we just lead with horror because it attacks for three. Mr. Eighth only attacks for two. Maybe there's two Mr. Eighth. Be able to block Legion Drummer with it. So we can, uh, you know, like they'll, you know, they attack with both of these. Challenger, one of my things, I can kill it to be able to draw, to draw to whatever they want to kill. I'll just glimpse beyond it. Draw two and then glory speakers. 
doesn't look so good for me. I think I maybe need to do Redeemer instead. Five mana. I've never known beauty like yours. You've no idea. Don't speakers are super powerful, but they're kind of expensive. This is a really tough combo, of course. Dang, our life got even worse. things more difficult than what they already were. I will keep us safe. Very dead. I am very dead. I'll cut them face me. Show them the might of Noxus. You have no alibi. You have to get me out of here. Hey, Dilly Tug. Yeah, I've been doing good. How have you been? Words move hearts and armies. By the strength of our convictions, our allies did not fall in vain. Yeah, playing Legends of Runeterra these days. This game is awesome. No closer. Really, really liking it. Shield up. I'll stop you. Press on.
This could be bad. All right, it's not great. Dawn speakers. Need them to. My puppy dog. Um, what they just do? Oh, this challenger. No, less challenger creatures. It kills my dawn speakers. I don't like it. I guess they have to. You know, they don't have like a, a war chefs. They need, they need like a war chefs. Their guilt is evident. Stand in cut out run justice. My call. Attack. Dawn Speakers coming through. We got seven, seven spiderlings. We some large creatures. Puppy, you want to come over here? Puppy. Come on. Magic stops with me. Ooh. Puppy jumped on up here. Do your worst. We're going to go with the Redeemer and then see what we get after that. Yeah, Haw Hawkeye passed away in January. Unfortunately, he de developed cancer and passed away. So I have this name to kind of honor him. You can count on me. Of Hawkeye. So many years, so much misery. Our allies did not fall in vain. My heart and sword for Demacia. Could just pass. They could, that is. Blah, blah. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. <laughs> A 
I basically just don't want him just to pass, and then I don't get any pumps. Even though, obviously, the challenger can just kill um, at Dawn Speakers. Yeah, that was Puppy. There's two dogs. That's Puppy. There's also Harvey. Harvey's down, laying down here. I'm petting her with my left hand right now. So those are the, the two dogs. Like this, using this ephemeral card right here is obviously not a very good play, but it's just guarantees that I'm going to get a Dawn Speaker's trigger. Which I wanted to do that. I wanted to guarantee that we we're getting a a Dawn Speaker's trigger. Because if I don't do that, then they they may just not kill my Dawn Speakers. They just pass. Because then you know I don't get any Dawn Speaker's triggers anyway. These are dark times. the first of many foes. Won't pass these walls. Let's see what you've got. We could definitely lose this. Our hand is, is pretty garbage. We have the, the two Wraith Crawlers, like this Aristocrat, this Crawling Sensation, not very good. We could definitely lose this. We're kind of relying on these large 11 power creatures. Yeah, the repost. Yeah, we could definitely lose this. Yeah. That Trifarian Assessor draw four was really good, but it, you know, obviously, like, my my play of using that Mark of the Isles when I did looks really bad, especially right now. I wanted to guarantee we get that trigger in, but, yeah, it's just looking really bad right now.
That seemed like a very easy play. Took a little while, I guess. Um, I don't know, I guess maybe try to save it for the 11-10 or something? I don't know, that's... Stay resolute. Good job, Josh. Just got your your first seven win expedition. That's amazing. Good job. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. That's an egg. Did it move? <clears throat> yeah, I wish I didn't use that Mark of the Isles. It's like our only spell. And you know, when there's these big battlefields like that, the, the spells certainly win as we saw. <laughs> You know, all those reposts and whirling deaths and all that kind of stuff. I think I'm just going to concede. I mean, my only hope... is not much of a hope, but my only hope... is to flip Elise. I guess I still have the biggest creature around with the 10 10. It hasn't taken any damage. For now, they can like Glory Seeker it, block it with the five, you know, trade the two five ones for it. For Glory, you are mine. My weakest card in my deck. Not a good top deck. Whenever we're in oh, quite a bit of trouble. It's a five and four. The Mark of the Isles played cost me so much in that game. That was over. That was overthinking it. That was overthinking it. On my part. Nice. Leading with the Mist Wraith, because it only attacks for two, or Horror attacks for three. I'm kind of expecting I got the goods. removal or something. You know, yeah, we have a 3-2 to block. So we do another thing that attacks for less. Of course, after... You know, after we play the other Mistrate, they would attack for the same, but it's good to keep the spiders anyway for, for if we find an Elise. Oh, I should have played the Crawling Sensation. 
Yeah, I should play Crawling Sensation. Nothing else in hand. We, we shall pierce their treasonous arms. Lady Elise, please take me home. Hush, my sweet. It'll be over soon. <clears throat> All right, sack one of these. Draw a couple. So play Crawling Sensation, then we'd be able to flip Elise or Wraith Caller and get bigger creatures in play. I think I want Wraith Caller to get bigger creatures in play. No. All right, so do I even play this? Yeah, I play it. What's that noise? Weak willed. Food. Yeah, I've been I've been very happy with the Mark of the Isles. I think they are. I think it's good to play them. Um, you know, having having things die isn't too much of a downside. Isn't as much as it would normally be. With, uh, you know, Callista, Dawn Speakers. Round and round and round it goes. Tribute to the Spire God. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> GG's. Not playing that, you know, playing this second hapless aristocrat instead of the crawling sensation is why I lost this game. If I would have played this, we would have had a flip to lease and then we'd be able to challenge her this, but. Challenger a lot of stuff, but I don't know. I don't know if that's why we lost. I don't know if we're, we would win anyway. We'd probably still lose. You cannot escape. The Hapless Aristocrats have been one of the worst cards in our deck. We keep on drawing them late. Like, basically all these losses, like, we keep on just drawing more Hapless Aristocrats, and they're just so bad. They really just don't pull their weight whatsoever. That's just something to go go back and watch a lot of those. You'd see us draw our second, third, hapless aristocrat in the mid late game. Like we're just drawing this card. That's just this one mana one one. That's just basically a dead card, and and that's just really hurting us. Um, it's good to have like that first one on turn one. That's really good, but you really don't want to draw it late. And you know. You only have like the couple of in your deck, so it's not like super likely that you're drawing them late game, but that kept on happening with those other games. 
So Dawn Speakers was super, super powerful. Uh, Callista was pretty mediocre. Um, you know, never we never leveled up Callista. Never really even got that close. I could see... You can definitely see just playing Thresh or Hecarim instead in this kind of deck. Uh, especially Thresh. Thresh seems awesome here, like with Dawn Speakers being able to grow Thresh and everything. Um, yeah, like, like Thresh just seems like a better Callista for this kind of deck. <sighs> Maybe for most decks, honestly. So first, first foray into Callista. Callista was not too good. Uh, no, I would, I would not take out Elise for for Thresh. Elise is amazing. It's a lot easier to to flip Elise, and when you do flip Elise, Elise, like that, just wins games. Like you win a lot of games by flipping Elise. And that's something that we did quite often, and it won us games. Callista doesn't really do anything. So there we go. First, first Callista test. Callista did not pass. The rest of the deck, like the the whole Elise and Fearsome and Dawn Speakers part of the deck, very good. Um, I mean, I don't think Callista is a bad card, but it's just it wasn't. As far as you know, you're you only you can only play so many champ. You know, you can only play six champions, and Shadow Isles has three amazing champions with Elise, Thresh, and Hecarim. And so it's really hard to justify playing Cal Callista when it's in this region with these other champions, to be honest. Um, and our so our first test uh, did not look so good. But yeah, Dawn Speakers is pretty nutty. All right, uh, there we go. So uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of Callista. Um, you know, what, what you think of the deck, if, if we have any ideas for maybe we do something else instead of this hapless aristocrat, if we have any other better options, um, I don't know, like Warden's Prey, maybe, um, we get more Demacia cards in here, Mage Seeker Conservator would have been a lot better card, but, um, yeah, leave those comments, um, those likes and comments really do go a long way on the YouTube channel, so I'd appreciate them. All right, but thank you so much for watching Callista Dawn Speakers, and I'll see you for the next video.